Greetings adventurers and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Um, today we are going to probably install a number of things, but we are starting out first of all uh, just doing a test. Uh, here we have a mod by an Ision called uh, Val Robin, Integrated Combat of Skyrim, and it is kind of it's it's similar to a lot of the other mods out there it changes you know like the the stamina system and creates attacks of opportunity and all kinds of other things um now i'm not entirely sure this is the one of the combat mods i'm going to use long term uh this test that i'm doing right now is to see if it can work alongside something like simple no help regen and the reason we're testing this is i believe both mods edit uh well i know this one does i'm not sure about val robin um but this uh combat heal rate if you don't know that your health regen is essentially a hidden uh spell buff that you have on your character that doesn't show up in the menu um and as you can see here it says that mods that also change that will probably need a patch or requires a patch um so I'm saying if I would need to do that for Valrob for something like Valrobin and and simple no health regen, uh, or if Vortex's whole rule system will essentially allow me to run them side by side, even if and just put one after the other, even if uh. <clears throat> so essentially, I would be wanting to put simple no health regen after Valrobin, uh, if Valrobin does conflict with it in some way. So let's find out. Now, as you know, I've already gone through there's no requirements no special install instructions and i already have vortex open so here we go easy peasy lemon squeezy and then we've got and we've got simple no health regen it's only thing it has is if you have a mod called uh sun helm it has a patch for it and so now we are going to see if uh, it might require a new game too. I guess let's just see if I can run it from existing or not. I guess let's find something easy to kill, like maybe some mud crabs over here somewhere. A pit wolf? Is this the fighting guy? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> My health is regening. Now I'm curious if I can create a rule to make it load afterwards. Oh wait, isn't there a way to see my... Aha. Huh. It already is putting it after Valrobin, it looks like. Uh, so does Valrobin change the health regen some other way? I have no idea. In fact, I might as well just do that for now. And uh, we'll check out Smile of Dawn, which does not change health regen, I think. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, boy, howdy. <laughs> so it's a random thing up there, obviously. It's one of the uh, encounter zones, and that time I got Vampire. See, I still have health gen even in battle. Uh, all right. The only other thing I can think of is that it might be that it needs a new game. It says it's combined to be compatible with Bow Robin, actually, which I didn't notice. All right, let's try. Put Bow Robin back on, and we'll do a new game. You know what, I might just do also. Because having to get through the title screen every time is annoying. Or the whole title section. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. Um, it's something that, because it changes a quest, I think, I don't want to, because uh, I guess you don't want to use like, uh, patchers things like wire bash or synthesis i think the other one is called there's another one too that 
You don't want to use those on quest mods. I'm not sure if alternate start technically start as a quest mod just because it maybe touches one or two quests. But uh, anywho, the point is I may uh, have to remove it once I get to the point where I'm adding a bunch of quest mods, which will be after I'm done with everything that involves patchers like true unleveled Skyrim. Generally with this, if I recall, you want to wait until all the like menus are registered and stuff. We don't have too many, so I imagine that's probably the end of it. Alright, full grief. Alright, we got a wolf here. He's done some damage. Make sure it doesn't look like there's any in combat health regen, no. Nope. Alright. Alright. Alright, 82. Just walk around a little. Still at 82. Put our weapon away. And it looks like that is working now. So yeah, it just needed a, a new game. And using it with Valenwood is fine. Or Val Valen... Whatever it was called. The combat mod. So that's good to know. Alright, well, after that cluster, maybe the rest of this will go well. Um... And this is all except for the last one, stuff I've done before. But the main ones we are installing are Odin, Skyrim Magic Overhaul, Folkery, Minimalistic Perks of Skyrim, and Instincts, Animal Taming in Skyrim. And uh, there's some other dependencies here. I've already organized them all. This here is the Spell Perk Item Distributor. This is very commonly used to allow mods to distribute their spells and perks. <laughs> spell perk item distributor uh two npcs uh since they're usually just made for the player um so yeah that's a requirement of I'm not sure if it's a requirement of just odin no yeah it's a requirement of odin spells for npcs okay. um and then yeah instincts is just uh i want to make like a beastmaster ranger type character who's also gonna like use the alchemy and stuff we'll see how it goes done ranting all right like i said i've already organized these promise I've checked all the requirements and stuff so I'm just gonna take us through here and try to be better about talking while I do it because it makes the AI editing thing work a lot easier. So spell per guardian distributor. Well, that's weird because I specifically have oh no I just can't count. Ignore. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now double check. Odin. Ah, I mean this is my favorite. Makes me so happy. <laughs> oh no there wasn't. And we have Odin and spells for NPCs installed. There was an option here to like limit it to distribution to vanilla uh, spellcaster classes only, and I was on the fence about that. But you know, if it if it seems like someone is using spells that don't make lore sense for me, I guess I'll address it at that point. Uh, I've never noticed any issue with that before, but also these uh, versions are way newer than since I played last, so. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Vokri installed. And come down and get the Odin Vokri compatibility patch. That's it for here. Instincts. Main file. And Vokri perks for instincts. Which on the instincts page describes that it just ties in. They It adds a few perks uh, for the whole Beastmaster archetype. And... Uh, Makes it so that there is some scalability with level. Not much, but a little bit. All right, that's everything installed. Let's play our game that definitely doesn't crash or anything. Approach, my child, and choose where your uh, new life shall begin. Do I need to begin. be anywhere in particular to look at this stuff? I'll just do Falkreath again. Which inn are you a patron of? Let's look at the perks. Um, I'm familiar with... 
raw power. Levitate, yeah, this is all looking familiar. So, yeah, looks like all this is working right. 482. Okay, spell's working. I'm just, I'm not gonna bother checking <laughs> if spell per item distributor is working. I'll have to wait until I'm in, I'm into a game to figure that one out. Um, oh, right, instincts. Uh, has been hard on us. Let's go find a... Oh, we need uh, to know what they eat. There's rabbits eat vegetables. Probably add some carrots to my inventory. What else am I likely to find? Foxes. Oh, not foxes. Oh, fox. Vegetables, meat, or fish. Deer. Vegetables. Oh, so vegetables would be the safe route. Help. Carrot. Oh, I didn't. Well. I have carrots. Let's go find us a friend. If I recall, I just have to activate them. Which of course, I'm going to try first instead of looking at the mod direction. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm looking for new best buddies. Come on, just need a rabbit or a fox, something easy I can catch up to. Yeah, critter, critter, critter. Uh oh. I'm, oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm a god. I always forget that I'm a god. Oh, she's bad too. Freaking conjures. Poor lady. Ugh. Seriously, still, still looking for an animal. Oh, okay. Activating is not working. Was there a spell? Oh, well, that's not a good start. Oh, oh. Animal taming. Player dot add per alpha zero six alpha last shot alpha one. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, I'm gonna catch you again. Yeah! So it's based on how much stuff I give them. And I get 100%. Woo! Dude, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you're usually not able to... I mean, just like in real life, you're not able to just stand next to a live one unless you're at the zoo. You usually gotta freaking shoot it first. Oh, it's funny. Anyway, can I have you too? Oh, yeah. Too big. Do something for me. No, I think that's just the normal commands. Yeah. Wait here, eat something, storage. This is your home now. What does that do? Let me change your name. A random name, sure. IR. And not right here. Need a saddle or something? Requires the animal riding perk. I'm getting the idea. <laughs> Oh, you're so fast. Okay, how do you turn? Can you walk? Oh, okay. Holding shift. Definitely helps. So turn and then move. Turn and go. Oh, that's not even sprinting, that's just running. It's pretty cool. Alright, this this mod's legit. I can tell you that right now. Well, it's all working. Hey, we got all, all these mods working. Isn't that... Why is that happening? Isn't that something? <laughs> What's, uh, can I see Fall Creep in the map still? Oh, not okay. Well, I guess that does see if, uh... Hey! Hey guys, look! 
elk to meet you. That's just so fast, so nice, and cool. What do you need? I need you to recognize that I'm riding an elk. Not everything is cool now. Let's just sprint through town. Doesn't seem to have a limit either. Is it actually going? I think it's just making the camera go fast. Dude, I love mods. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> seems like a good place to end this one. Thank you guys for joining me in my modding journey, and I will see you next time.